So this video I want to create a lead sound, some synthetic synth lead. Um, I'd like to be able to have it doing maybe some kind of melody or something, but I'd also like it to play chords. Um, so we're going to um, play with some interesting things on um, being able to have both, so have it uh, as a um, different uh, polyphony. Um, so let's load up an instrument rack and we'll load up an operator for a start and let's play some notes. So there's our sine wave. For a start let's change it to something busier, square wave. But always fun. And let's give it some LFO. Bring the amount right down the rate up so it wobbles a lot. Let's even give it a filter. Let's make it a. Um, let's try a band pass. And let's send the LFO to the filter as well. Actually, screw the filter. Actually, no, let's put it on. Let's not have any LFO, but let's make it a low pass with a lot of envelope on the uh, filter envelope. And just for fun, let's add in another saw wave, square wave, sorry. Detune it. By one. So I might make uh, these both square uh, saw waves. envelope and turn the glide on. So the glide is, is, is how long it takes to get to the next note. That sounds pretty good. Um, I'm going to add a reverb to it. Let's add another operator to this. We'll go back and shape that shortly. Let's add another operator to give it a bit more oomph. Uh, let's make this one a, a square. Octave above. Bring the level down. Let's give it a bit of uh, frequency modulation. Keep it um, off fixed so it... with an LFO, take the LFO off the oscillators, just on the filter. Maybe make this a high pass. to a square. Uh, we'll get rid of the filter. Let's send the LFO to B. Saw. It's quite cool. Let's play with the erosion. Let's make it a really uh, degraded effect. Here's the erosion. There you go, erosion. Oops. Let's 
So if we play with the erosion, bring the amount up and the frequency. Change the amount of voices with the uh, the macro. That's right. Now this erosion is a little bit too much. But I think it would sound cool if we added a redux after it. Put it on soft. Even another filter after it. Actually, sound quite cool. No. Um, auto filter. I mean. It's really screwed, isn't it? I like it. Maybe even more dry wet on the reverb of that main lead. Add one more operator to give it a little bit of stuff around the edges. You can probably tell I like to add in uh, one more synth which just tinkles around the top. So let's play with this one. Put it on the filter, make the filter a band, make this a square. Make it so that this slowly comes in, so the attack on the amplitude. to come out of nowhere um, so we'll use the filter delay track once again to give it some space you can tell I use this a lot but it's a very quick way of getting some space
I could change the wave shape of that. So this oscillator is currently modulating this one. It's quite cool. Turn this operator back to having six voices. Great. I'm quite happy with that sound, so let's um start mapping some stuff. First, let's do. Oh, we'll give these names. So we'll go. We'll just go first. Right, main, second, and high. So we know what to map. So this one here, let's make this the main LFO amount. So if we map the amount. Oops, of this one here, to that knob there. And if we have main LFO rate, we'll map it to the rate. So we could have a really slow. And also it would be fun to have the uh, glide amount of the main. So we'll call that main glide. Um, on the second, what have, what have we got in the second here? Let's do the FM amount here. So we'll go second FM. play with. Um, and we'll do the bit reduction. So the bit reduction down sample right here. We should also link that to the frequency of the erosion. See how that sounds. Good. And so we'll call that Second uh, redux, so we'll go. and the third one we'll go LFO rate of the auto filter. Second LFO rate. over on this high definitely have the FM mount on that map call that oops high FM and the rate 
by a little rate. And we'll map that to the rate. Let's have a listen. Cool. Um, yeah. That's probably the most boring part of these tutorials is Tom picking his colours. But I think I've got some kind of complex where I just have to give things colours. Yeah. Yeah, what should we pick here? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. Lead. Uh, I don't know, what would we call that one? Let's call it Kevin. <laughs> yeah, Kevin. Alright, and we'll save that in the folder with all the rest. Kevin. Cheers, TomCosm.com.